So like I was saying, um, the red one has the shortest wavelength. It's between consecutive crests, which is the high point here. The blue one has the next longest. It's just a little longer than the red ones. The green one has the longest wavelength. Because the red one has the shortest wavelength, that means that it has the greatest frequency. If all these are traveling at the same speed, it goes bop, 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 bop. Uh, the green one would go bop, 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 not as frequently. And the red one has the tallest amplitude. Amplitude's measured from the equilibrium point to the highest point. Maximum displacement from the equilibrium point is the official definition. Anyway. So this is a little weird. They usually have paper here, and people are measuring their papers for this. But this time, we can measure our screens. So I'm going to get y'all protractors. So me, I've got a big old screen here, so I'll use a miter stick. Y'all ought to be good with your protractors. Uh, I'm gonna, I'll, I'll give you protractors in a minute. They're, I had to clean. So these arrows show how to measure amplitude. It's not from the bottom to the top, it's from the middle to the top. And how to measure wavelength, that's from, it's not just like from here to here, it's from there all the way to where it starts going up again. So it's where that pattern starts to repeat. It goes up, and right here it's coming down, so that's not repeating yet. And there it starts to go up, starts to go up again. And if you don't like that, you can measure from the bottom of it to the bottom of it, or this is called the trough, the trough of the wave to the trough of the next wave, or the crest of this wave to the crest of the other wave. As long as it's where the pattern starts to repeat, this is where it starts to go down and comes back up, and then it starts to go back down again. So. Start to repeat right there and there, go back up, comes back down, goes back up again. So it, in between there and there also works. Um, what's real important about doing this is it says each wave train takes one second from beginning to end. Signed out. See, I protected your privacy with the video. Nobody knows who I'm talking to. Anyway, <laughs> what are we doing? What are we doing? Each wave train takes one second from beginning to end. So, another thing it asks you is to count the waves. So, if this is one wavelength, that the length, that's the length of one wave. So, yeah, how many? You, you, you should ask yourself, how many of these do I have? If that's the length of one wave, then this is one wave. So I've got one, two, three, four. Okay, in my example here, i got four waves. Mm -hmm. Four waves. If each of them takes one second, have a good Tuesday. Thank you. If each of them takes one second, uh, if, sorry, if the whole thing takes one second, each of these whole things takes one second, then right here, if I have four waves, then I have four waves per second in this one. And that's its frequency, four waves per second. Uh, likewise, period is the opposite of frequency. Frequency is waves per second. Period is seconds per wave. So it's like what period of time does each wave take? So if this is one second and there's four waves, then each wave takes a fourth of a second. One fourth. Two fourths, three fourths, four fourths, all the way to one second. So um, I prefer to use fractions when I'm answering these questions for myself. Y'all can say 0 0.25, 0 0.5, 0 0.75, 1 if you like, but I think it's easier to say the frequency is four waves per second, four hertz. Um, hertz just means per second. So and it doesn't mean, it doesn't have to be any. Uh, particular thing that happens that many times per second. Uh, like in this case, it's just waves per second, four hertz, four waves per second. Um, 
Right, so yeah, frequency is waves per second, so four waves per second. Period is one fourth of a wave, one fourth, one fourth of a second per wave. And now we saw the four there, and it kind of it makes more sense to me. It makes it easier, but whatever you like. Uh, another way that we can use this wave train takes one second total is with, to figure out the speed. There is a formula for wave speed. We'll do that later. What I want you all to do for wave speed now is to measure how far this wave goes in one second, and then it's that many meters per second. So let's see, I've got, what? Did I zoom in? That's different from last time. I got 82 centimeters. So if you're using centimeters, I prefer that you convert to meters for your answers. Um, so 82 centimeters would be 0.82 meters, just like cents in a dollar. So if that happens, if it took one second to go 0.82 meters, that's 0.82 meters per second. That makes it easy with this one second business. Uh, if you're using millimeters, one millimeter is 0 0.001 meters. Uh, so that should help you if you're converting to meters per second from millimeters per one second. Okay, uh -huh. How small your screen is, and how how your browser does its zooming uh, in on these images. Hopefully, hopefully everybody can measure these easily. Um, I think that's it, right? Uh, I can measure my amplitude from here to here. That's uh, seven centimeters. So I put 0 0.07 meters. My wavelength. That's about 20 centimeters. Maybe 21, 20.5. So I'd say 0 0.205 meters, if I'm saying 20.5 centimeters. Yeah, I think y'all can do this. Uh, I'm going to leave the, these definitions up there. Oh, that's why I was zoomed in. There we go. In case this helps y'all keep from scrolling so much. Questions about this? Yes, sir. Yes. Thanks for reminding me. And here we go.